is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about high-powered scooters. It's the first day of the year. It's Saturday. We're doing deliveries on the Dualtron Storm, just a typical work day. I'm going to work about three or three and a half hours on the Storm, and then probably another two or three hours on my Dualtron Ultra V2. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you finding the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Leave a comment down below. Talk to me. Push that algorithm. Help me get the 6,000 subscribers. All right, so again, first day of the year. I'm really looking forward to getting out there today. Set your notifications if you want to check out my live stream. I live stream usually around 6 p.m., two or three nights a week. Make sure you set your notifications. All right, let's go out and make some money. Thanks for your support. This is definitely our first order. 2.5 miles from the house, $7 McDonald's. After all the rain we had, it's such a beautiful day. It's like cold and sunny. I think I don't think I'm going to need more than one light hoodie today. Check it out. These are like pandemic roads. This is what it was like during the pandemic. Empty roads and nobody out of here hardly. It's great. I'm not take this Starbucks, unfortunately, but we got, we're here for the McDonald's. I bet you it's going to be ready. It took a second to get down here and uh, I bet you they're not busy. I mean, the town is asleep, it looks like. Uh, they're still working on it. It's on the left. McDonald's is late and I was wrong. They're fucking swamped. So I'm giving them three more minutes and then I'm going to cancel this order because Uber has actually been ringing and I've been rejecting some pretty decent orders while I'm waiting for this. Hey, I got that 227 for DoorDash. 227? No. It's, the, it's always the last three. I mean, do we... Am, am I... 227. That's what's... They added the following instructions. Leave at my door. No shit. All right, so we're here. I don't know why I had to go to war with McDonald's like that. That was insane. Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay, up here, I guess it looks like it might be a little bit of a walk. I'm unsure, and anytime I'm unsure, I tie up. I'm going to show you guys one tie up early in the vlog. I won't record them all. People are always asking me, don't you lock up your vehicle? And I usually do. But um, I just don't record every time because I only have so much uh, GoPro battery. Uh, each time I'm out here and film, it also makes editing a real pain in the ass. So that's right here. Boom. Boom. We're happy to be on the board this early in the day, 10.23 a.m. Are you ready to go to war with McDonald's again? Fuck this place, let's go. It's all for the customer. If I'm being rude or loud or whatever, it's all for the customer. It feels like we got here too quick. I've tried to take my time, but the fucking storm is just like so sweet at 26 miles an hour. Yeah, that's me. We're, we're, we're doing good, thank you. All right, you see, this time we fucking walked in and out. I have no idea how that even happened. We got here really quick, but... All right, McDonald's, the Armageddon restaurant. Let's go. Right, let me show the new viewers how I do the pack up now, okay? First of all, this is like my bag of tools. If anything goes wrong, all my tools are in there. I rarely take that out because I don't want to lose it. So, order like this is pretty big, so let's let it fill. Let's let fill the bag. And I know this will slide on the side. Not question anything. And then this is kind of what's unique about my setup is that I will take take the rope, so this is the bungee cord, and tie this on. This And this is just an empty container, so it doesn't have to be anchored perfectly or anything, but uh, this is how I do it. We picked up a very nice one mile, $8 Starbucks, but first we have to drop this off. We're really close, it's like right up here. Two. This might be far, so we're keeping the scooter. All right, 212. Hello. Right, judging by the route that I just took there, I'm pretty sure I just did like a whole additional lap I did not need to do, but at least we didn't have to walk it. All right, let's go to Starbucks. All right, we're here for Starbucks. Look at this gang. Hey guys, I got Angelo. Angelo? Yes, sir. Perfect, I can see it. 
Thank you very much. See you next time. I'm really hoping this is going to be an easy drop off because I got a McDonald's order that I stacked right on top of this from DoorDash that will probably be at least five minutes late even if this comes off good. Five minutes late is no big deal. You just can't be like more than ten minutes late. Oh, we got a nice little ramp here, so that's a good sign. Oh, it's not a great ramp. Maybe I can just bring it in there. It's 108. It's first floor. I can tell. Getting that hustle going on here. Yeah, people people need their coffee. That's okay. I got I got pit bulls at home. You guys are nothing. You're babies. So well, basically, the pickup time for this order at McDonald's is right now. But we can be five minutes late. I'm just gonna, I turn off Uber already and we're just gonna fucking fly down there. So let's go. I got down here in four minutes. I think I got down here in four fucking minutes, going like 40 miles an hour. Yeah, we're only uh, three minutes late. Perfect. 61, actually, I'm sorry. I got 461. Okay, yeah, 361, nobody, nobody, nobody. But I see 461. Okay. <laughs> here you go, here you go. I think you got her. You have the what number? 461. Oh, yeah. Thanks, McDonald's. We'll see you later. You're the best. See you. You too. Oh, nice friendly experience at McDonald's. Let's call it a fucking win. I love being busy like this, guys. It's so much goddamn fun. Order was pretty goddamn far, but at least the building is well marked. How does this place work now? This is a super easy drop off. It's right here. Pick up a one mile six dollar fifty cent Chipotle. If this Sam's Bagels is really impossible, Chipotle is really close to there. So we're gonna do one. We're gonna do both. We're gonna find out. I'll try to get the Chipotle first because when it's slow like this and there's nobody in the restaurant sometimes they get the to-go orders really quick we can pick it up and then go check out sam's bagels almost next door there's a line just to step into this place so we're not taking it i'm glad we picked up the chipotle leave the order at their door they added the following instructions leave at my door sorry baby dog this is where my customer is Uh, we got a code we're walking in here a nice customer smart sent it to me all right good neighborhood we're not locking up but we got to run this is definitely on the first floor i believe it is Thank you. all right we like this place you've been here before seven dollar 2.3 mile coffee coffee let's go yeah coffee coffee oh, they're busy How you doing? Hey, is this how are you? pretty good? Is this one for Corey S? Any chance? You Steven? Yep. Uh, it's for you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. See you next time. Have a good day. You too. I need to get this order done quick because I got some like $20 plus double from Uber that I had to go a little out of the way because I got to do this DoorDash first. So hopefully this drop off will be easy and then we can turn around and, and shoot right back down the hill for that nice order. Okay, we're here. Destination is on the left. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, it's your, it's, your, it's your food. Your apartment number wasn't on there, but is it 312? Oh, it's 409. 409, no problem, I'm coming, I'm coming. Thank you. Got you. Oh, I've been in this building before. They have the, the units right here and I just walked right by it, right? This is 409, you gotta be kidding me. We got that done, that was an easy one. They paid seven bucks. And we can't do this Uber order. We are at, oh, I'm fucking stuck to the scooter, my fucking shoelace. Oh my God, I almost fucking fell. I gotta tie my shoelace, God damn it. I think before I almost tripped on myself, I was saying I, uh, we're not taking this. We got like a seven and a half dollar order from this place called Morning After Breakfast. This is really the Chibo spinoff with multiple restaurants. It's notorious for being late, but we already took the order, so. Hopefully we will be able to get it relatively easy. How you doing guys? 
This is morning after breakfast, right? Yes. I got Shannon C for DoorDash. Yes. Shannon C for DoorDash, it's okay. Here you are. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got lucky, they were ready. Easy drop off, it's like a house because so we definitely have an order right after it. This guy doesn't yell at me, he looks like a me. Hey, it's your DoorDash driver. I'm here, I'm just a little bit at a loss as to how to get to your unit, but I'm right above 801, and I'm in front of this building here, which I, I think is you. Okay, it's, it's, uh, it's in an apartment building where there's a brown gate out front, it says 805. Yeah, I don't see the 805, but I see the, I see the brown, I see a brown gate. I just don't see the 805, which is fine, but I'm at the brown gate. Is there any way to get in there? Um, I think it might be locked now because I think the gate was recently repaired. Yeah, it's um, locked. I can come out to you. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh my God. Hi. Here you go. Good social distancing barrier. Enjoy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Mike, that is a cat. Holy cow. What a little cutie. Thank you. Does he just love people? She's 17. Can you say hello? Cutie, cutie. I don't want to scare him. He's so little. I mean, I'm kind of in a rush, so I can feel my energy. <laughs> All right, very cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, we got a really good short range blue jam cafe for like, I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks. I'm not sure, but it looks pretty good. Let's go to Melrose. To fight a little bit. It's got a good payout. The place looks fucking insane. So I think we're just gonna pull up right to the front of it, lean our scooter against this barrier, and we'll be in good shape. How you doing? I have a Nico, oh, sorry. Oh, I remember you, how you doing? I have Nico, Nico R, Nico R, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. You too. Whoa. Yeah, this is a busy fucking place here. This is a good order though. Real close. I don't know why we jumped on the sidewalk already. Oh, it's right here. Your sign visible to the street. I mean, look, you see, like that's the address. I really want to take this John and Vinny for twelve seventy-five. It's one item. The problem is, if it's a large pizza, I have to I have to give it right back. Come on, be lasagna, be lasagna. With the orders ready too. What is it for? Breakfast pizza. Two point oh. How big is that going to be? Should we go look at it? Maybe we'll look at the menu online. It's only eighteen dollars. It cannot be that big, right? It's got to be small. Let's go get it. Oh, well, we got down here pretty quick. They pinged us and said it was ready, so hopefully it will be ready. And um, the boxes look small. The pizza boxes look small, so we're good. How you doing? Ryan C for DoorDash. Thanks, bro. See ya. This one is positive. Pizza cam. We're doing pretty good. We've done $73 in the first two hours. The goddamn auto tracker turned off. So I know we came out at 10. It's a little after 12. So we're doing good. $70 plus. Very good. Pretty reasonable Hollywood sushi. Two and a half miles. $8.75. Let's go. We're always ready anyhow, right? Hi, Danny. I got a Chris W. Are you guys crazy busy now? Where, are you busy? Yeah. Everybody's whole, everybody's hung over. Did you party last night? I had a party, yeah. Nice, like, nice. Not, not too much. Yeah, <laughs> I was asleep by nine. I was asleep by nine o'clock. I'm old. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I go to bed so early. When it gets dark, I just fall asleep. I can't help it. Oh my god. <laughs> <like that. laughs> See you later. Bye. Happy New Year. Right, we're here. We're coming right up to it. Boom. This is an easy building. Nice little rampy ramp. All right. Hopefully, it's easy to get in. Right, we are in. I feel like I want to take the stairs, third floor. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just run. Audio in 302. Yeah, I feel myself getting older, I swear to God. Certain orders, man, when you order like a giant bag of sushi and only tip $3, where the hell are we? 
That's pretty lame. I think this is a good finisher for 10 bucks. It's far, but it's gonna put us pretty close to home. Uba Tuba, is that how you pronounce that? Uba Tuba Acai, let's get it. It's gonna be cold, but we're good with these orders. These orders are made for us. What's up, kids? I got a Shinara and Maria for DoorDash. You guys working on it? Yeah, let me get it when it's all together so it stays cold. Okay, I'll give you some time. Thank you very much. Awesome, guys. You too, bro. Get right to the door. Perfect. Okay, we're here on the second, uh, it's like a corner of ice cream. It's acai or whatever the hell they sell there. So how do we get in here? Okay, I got you. Buzz it. Food, I'm here. I'm trying to buzz in. I just keep getting your machine. Oh, okay. Weird. Give me one second. Thank you. Okay, I'll be at the gate. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Okay, my pleasure. I got two things. So don't run away. You got this. I got one more thing for you here. You got this. You ordered a lot, right? <laughs> here you go. Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> Enjoy. You so Thank, you. Thank you. Wow, what a shift we had, guys. We did over 100 bucks in less than three hours. That's fucking phenomenal. We killed the scooter, though. We did everything at high speed. So I'm turning everything off. I'm going to Target. I'm grabbing a snack. I'm not eating cantaloupe again. I'm going to pick up something else that's healthy. We're going to go home, get our head straight, and then come back out on the Ultra V2. Look at this fucking dork. Dork. Today's sack of choices, cheap strawberries, even though they were fucking four and a half bucks. They're not organic. Yeah, it's not even one o'clock, so we've barely done three hours, but I can tell you that uh, we did 29.4 miles. The tracker's not working, but 29.4 miles, first half of the shift, first half of the day. All right, let's go. All right, so that took about 15 minutes, pretty easy transition. So now we're on the Ultra V2 that has almost 5,000 miles on it. I keep saying that, but it's just about there. And man, let's hope that the second part of the shift is as good as the first. I'd love to have a $200 six hour shift. Let's go. Right out of the gate, we got a must take Chipotle looking at the length of the line, 1.4 miles, $7.50. Looks like we're going to sunset. There's suddenly a table in the road. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, what a beautiful table in the road. <laughs> that is fucking hysterical. They got give me a happy new year. Guys, it's so weird driving the fucking Ultra. Every time I drive it after driving the storm, they are such different animals. I mean, it's really, the difference is crazy. The, the storm is way faster, it's way bigger. But obviously the Ultra is a you know 86 pound scooter too. It's a big scooter too. But I'm just you know it seems like a fucking sports car. Thank you. Thank you, bro. One hour, fifty-five minutes, twenty-one seconds total distance. Fifteen point zero miles. Average speed seven point eight miles per hour. Split speed. I'm pretty sure this is number six. This is nine dollars for two miles. It's a little far south for my taste, but it has a couple of redeeming factors. This place is almost e is always right. easy and ready. And oh, they give me an all about the bread for three miles more. No, thank you. This place is almost always easy, as well as ready. And um, it's you know nine dollars two miles. Got to do it. How you doing, guys? Car with the K. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. I'm not a thief, but I'm still stuck on the weekend. I shouldn't say it was a joke. Thank you, thank you, thank you, happy new year. I'm Okay, thank you. Hi. I was planning on beating you down here. Oh, it's okay. I always try to walk the dog and get my pizza. What's up, little baby? <laughs> my little guy looks kind of like this, too. I got like a little chihuahua mix. It's hard to meet me. I, people, these dogs are always scared of me when I'm dressed up like this. <laughs> but anyhow, all right, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Place never fails, man. The drive-through always has a lunch. 
Okay, first walk through. Only if we're lucky are we gonna get it. Uh, doesn't does not look good. I'll take that six nine one. I had to step up, guys. It's like sometimes I walk in, they were friends. Sometimes they fucking hate me. We gotta make this seven dollars. Let's go. This thing still fucking rips, even with 5,000 miles on it. It goes 40 in second gear, and it accelerates fast, and it's gonna cheat right here. Oop! On the sidewalk now, I'm a pedestrian. Oh, here before crazy you don't even this is, this is a beautiful spot okay call the customer hello hey it's your doordash i'm already in the uh, parking area um okay are you at the front door oh uh, yeah 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 mm -hmm. i am can you buzz can you buzz 209 pound 209 of course all right here i come Hi, um, I keep getting your answering machine, but I'm still here. Oh. This is turning into a pretty good time. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I thought for sure you were coming out of that door, <laughs> but I got you. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, we got one. Nine dollars fifty cents. It says Welder's Grilled Cheese, but we know for sure that's Chibo, and it's going in a good direction. It's taking us closer to the center than we are now. That's for sure. Let's go. On fire to Chibo. This place is never ready, but they've got a nice place to sit where you're waiting. Dennis F. Dennis F. Uh, Happy New Year. Alrighty, so we had to sit and wait there, but they just have such a marvelous position where I can sit, watch my scooter, and sometimes get some sun. Alright, let's go. whole way here i was thinking this better be a good payout 12 bucks it's like i'm in the zone i'm taking orders but not remembering what the hell i'm doing i'm definitely just like in the fucking zone we're doing good all right it's only 2 30. <laughs> this is a 0.7 mile five dollars 75 cent mcdonald's it was slow so i took it i hate doing these really under six dollar orders but let's go hey i'll take that 588 we got good timing you and me I'm, we're always in we're always in sync you and me thank you 588 right yeah you got a code thanks guys oh my god it's so fucking warm in here we're gonna take the stairs up of course let's do it that's cooler in the stairwell Back to McDonald's, nice payout. Short range. I'm getting winded. Oh, you guys know the drip. Oh, there's nobody in there. Beautiful. Oh, come on. I know you guys are going to miss it. 670. You always come too fast, sir. You have to wait. I know the drill. It's already, the bag is not ready. It's off the board, though. Is it that little bag there? It might be the order. I don't, it's fine, whatever. I'm here to work as a team and get it to the customer quick. That's all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I tell them the truth, man. I'm just trying to push them hard only for the customer. I don't, I don't care if they're insulted at all. Let's go. I thought that lady and I at McDonald's were at the same page. It's all about the customer. I don't care if I'm insulting you. All I'm doing is being loud. I mean, I'm not saying shit. I watch these videos all the time when I edit them, and I'm not cursing. I'm not nothing. They're just fucking scared of me. 
The customer requested to cancel the order. Thing, right? They added the following whoa, 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 whoa. instructions. Sorry. Head south on I'm Wilcox Avenue toward Willoughby Avenue. Then you will arrive at your destination. Guys, right? How do we get in? Hello. Hello. Hey, it's your DoorDash. I'm here. You didn't leave an entry code or anything, but I am right at the front entrance. <clears throat> Oh, okay, great. I'll, I'll come down and grab it from you now. Thanks so much. Not sure if I'm going to take this. What, is it double from La La's? It's four fucking four miles for 12 bucks, but everything is like, looks like it's all pretty easy. I don't know, man. It's not a good deal, though. Four miles for 12 bucks. That would have been a good last order of the day, but I'm not ready to close it up. We got another full hour left, so we didn't take it. The distance, this looked like a good one. I'm not sure though, until I really see it. 10 items, this could be a pay more though. Let's try it, it's a milk, a milk delivery. It could be 10 fucking cookies, let's go. Right through the window. Hi, hi, karma with the K, like it's normally spelled, karma. Yeah. Me too. All right, here we got it. Did you hand them the order? Additional instructions are provided in the Dasher app. Where is it? It's probably right here. This order is going to pay more for sure. It has to. It's like eight. Oh, there it is. It's like eighty dollars worth of junk. Hey, Darren. Are you waiting for an order for milk? Are you uh, for Karma? For Karma. Oh, yeah. beautiful. I got you. I got you. Oh, this place is sick, man. It's awesome. Are we going to have a party with that? We are. Thank Enjoy. you. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Okay, we're in the last hour of work for sure. It's 3.20 p.m. We got a 1.9 mile Hollywood sushi. Let's go see our friends. Our friends? What does that even mean? Let's go see Jetty. <laughs> Camera problems on the pickup, but we got it. It's filled in a million times. The customer doesn't usually give us good entrance directions, but for some reason this customer gave good directions. We know we're definitely just going to buzz in. Let's go. Only thing you might have a problem with is sometimes you gotta contact the customer to get the elevator to work. I'm not sure about this building, but I think. You know what I mean? All right, fifth floor. Always happy to let, I'm always happy to let another driver in, but in this building, the customer has to buzz the code for the elevator as well. This customer is telling me it's actually pretty close. That's good. All right, while we're waiting for this elevator, we got a 1.9 mile, $7.25 Chipotle. Which elevator is it? All right, cool. I guess it's the right building. We got the right code. It's only 344. We got a $10.50 McDonald's run for 2.7. We're gonna do it and that'll be our last order for sure. Okay. Can you grab me one? Oh my god. It's just fucking impossible this place. <laughs> nice. I see my order right there. It's okay, it's okay. Can you grab me 199? It's right there. Oh my god, this is torture. Hi, right, thanks girls. Thank you. Oh man, it's fucking I'm just scared. I, I have to get the order. You just have to fucking give it to me. 